Stand straight, soldier. Your entire career has been leading up to this moment. Um, uh, hello? The name is Sergeant Dawson. When I address you, you must reply with sir. When you are addressing me first, only then may you call me Sergeant Dawson. Is that clear, soldier? Yes, Sarge. Uh, I mean, yes, sir. <sighs> what is your name? You... Eugene, sir. Eugene Ryan. Soldier Ryan, be thankful that from this moment on, you will never be using your first name again. Follow me, Soldier Ryan. You're late, by the way. Get a new recruit arrived hours ago. At ease, men. I'd like you to meet our another new recruit, Soldier Ryan. Uh, hello. Your bed is at the end there, and your storage chest. I'll leave you to unpack. Dinner is at 1700 hours, no later. If you show up late, you will miss your meal. I trust your new roommates will show you where the cafeteria is. Crap!
Soldier Ryan. That is Soldier. Follow me. It's time to brief you on what we do here and what your duties will be. So what did your commanding officer tell you about here, Soldier Ryan? Um, that we are guarding something. Important. And that we should be stationed here for a while, sir. And how long do you think you will be here for? Uh, a few months? Maybe a year? Try ten years, or more. Sergeant Dawson, why so long? What could possibly be that serious that we have to be here for, for ten years? This is what is known as Project H. I have been here right from the start, so it would do you well to listen to my advice. Professor Cook? Ah, uh, Sergeant Dawson. How can I help you? Just showing our new recruit his duties. How is the subject today? Oh, quiet as usual. No changes. Same as it's been for the last ten years. The subject's daily vitals, Professor. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins. Hmm, yep. Nothing new here either. Professor Cook, Dr. Jenkins, this is our new recruit. He will be the one who will be on Night Watch. Hello. Um, what's your name? It's, uh, you, I, I mean, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Well, Ryan, if you notice anything unusual, you must either report it to Sergeant Dawson or tell one of us immediately. Um, what is the subject? I don't need to tell you. I'll show you. Um, nice to meet you. Project H is the most serious assignment any of us will ever work on. My whole life, I vowed to guard the subject to make sure it never kills again. When we first encountered it, we had no idea how powerful it was. I watched as it burned everything to the ground, and it killed my men. After that godforsaken day, I was determined it would never see the light of day ever again. Um, Sergeant Dawson? <clears throat> Anyway, since this facility was specifically designed to imprison the subject, 
We closely monitor it and have been able to restrict it from using any powers. So, has he, she, the subject done anything since it's been here? No. The subject is fully secure. Not one incident has ever been recorded. As long as we all abide by the rules, there will never be any issues. <sighs> he can't be that dangerous. I mean, he's human. Human, you say? Why? What's wrong with his eyes? We call it Hero Brian, the most powerful and dangerous being we have ever encountered. The scientists believe that his eyes are damaged due to the powers it's able to use, but they can't be sure. No one is able to get close enough for testing. The cell walls are made with reinforced steel. Electrical dampeners have been put in place. All this stops it from using any of the powers we know it possesses. So. One duty is to guard Hero Brian at night. Not many soldiers enjoy this. Some are simply scared, some find it boring, and some are just too lazy and would rather sleep at night, would you believe? No one willingly volunteers for this position, so all of the recruits agree to draw straws. Oh, okay. When will we... Oh. Yes, Soldier Short Straw. Congratulations. You are the new Night Guard. This is ridiculous. First I arrive late, then the sergeant makes fun of my name. My roommates hate me for whatever reason, and now to top it all off, I'm the one who has to do the crappy night watch. I wanted to do well here, be respected and maybe one day work my way up so I can be somebody. <sighs> and now I'm going crazy talking to myself. Unless you don't mind listening to me going on and on about my troubles. Do you actually understand me? Are you really listening? I guess not many people talk to you, huh? Must be lonely. I know how that feels. I got a bit of a headache. I think it's the stress from such a terrible first day. Maybe this won't be so bad after all.
Stand straight, soldiers! Your entire career has been leading up to this moment. Dude, I just had a weird feeling of deja vu. Shh, shut up! Your new recruitment, Sergeant. Yes, right on time. My name is Sergeant Ryan, soldiers. Now when- Soldier Ryan? Well, as I live and breathe, you've come a long way since your training days. Why, well, I remember when the other trainees would make fun of- Sergeant. I'm sorry? It's Sergeant Ryan now, Commander Bolton. It would do well to remember that and address me correctly, especially in front of the others. Oh, uh, of course, Sergeant Ryan. <coughs> I'll be on my way. Follow me, soldiers. Let's get you settled in. So, what are your names, soldiers? Smith, sir. Brad Smith. Jones, sir. Chris Jones. Wilson, sir. Josh Wilson. Good names. From this point on, you shall be addressed as Soldier Smith, Soldier Jones, and Soldier Wilson. Yes, sir! And who knows? One day, one of you may be lucky enough to be in my position and have everyone call you Sergeant. That will be me, and we all know it. My bed's the one in the middle. <laughs> this used to be my room when I first arrived here. Back then, they used to put six people to a room. So, why are the only three of us here now, sir? Nothing much happens here. It's pretty quiet. I've reduced the amount of soldiers that have to be stationed in this facility. Dinner is at 1700 hours. Don't worry about getting there on the dot. There's plenty for everyone. Oh, almost forgot. I took the liberty of having maps printed off of the whole facility for each of you. That way you won't get lost. Thank you, sir. I'll leave you three to unpack and get settled in. So, what do you guys think about this place? <laughs> this is going to be so easy. Yeah. Oh, Sarge, that seems cool. I'm not sure. I mean, why would they have this huge secret facility far away from everything if this wasn't serious? Oh, come on, dude. You heard the sergeant. Nothing happens here. I'll tell you, these ten years will fly by. I wonder what's for dinner. It better be pizza. Oh, I hope it's pizza too. not that busy here. <sighs> Duh, Sarge says there weren't that many people working here now. What dumb luck we get that we were the ones chosen to be stuck here for years. Soldiers, mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. So, 
What do you think of this place? Eh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's awesome. Soldier Wilson? Something on your mind? It's just that... <sighs> this is a huge secret facility in the middle of nowhere. Surely there's something more to this? For goodness sake, dude, I told you to just chill! So sorry You remind me of me when I first came here. I think I know the perfect job for you. Follow me, soldiers. Time to show you what happens around here. The shower area is there. The rec room is down that way. That's the conference room there. Oh, this is my office and room. Four, three, seven, six, two, seven, four, six, three. I have an idea. Guys, come on. <laughs> Whoa! Check this out! <laughs> Professor Kook? Oh, not this guy again. Ah! Sergeant Ryan! To what do I owe this, uh, pleasure? Just showing our new recruits around the facility. Hello, soldiers. My name is Professor Cook. If you notice anything unusual, you must not hesitate to tell me. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, how's the subject today? He's okay, I hope. No changes as always. Dr. Jenkins? Hello again, Sergeant Ryan. I trust everything is well. Where's the subject's daily vitals, Jenkins? I have them right here, Professor. All readings are normal. See, Sergeant? The same as it's always been for the last 20 years. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to work. God, that professor sure is a jackass. <laughs> Sergeant Ryan, what is the subject? I'll show you. This is the subject. Is this some kind of joke? It's just some guy. I thought the same thing. Bye. Whoa! Check out his eyes! No, that isn't normal. He's called Herobrine, but after years of guarding him, I nicknamed him H. He's a good listener when you're alone at night. Sergeant Ryan? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, just a little headache. I get him a lot. Must be just stressing living inside these walls for ten years. Anyways. Soldier Jones, you'll be working in the cafeteria. Oh, man! <laughs> Soldier Smith, you will be assisting the security guard. Awesome! And you, Soldier Wilson, will be guarding Herobrine at night. <laughs> you have the worst job. Yeah, at least I'll probably get free food. You have to sit all alone all night with this 
Nobody. Hey! Don't worry, Soldier Wilson. H is completely safe. He's been here for 20 years and hasn't even tried to escape or anything. He's a good listener. If it wasn't for him listening to me every night, I don't think I would have survived here. Yet alone be in charge of this place. Trust me, you'll develop a sort of friendship with him. Just like I did. Yeah, sure. Ugh, my head. These damn headaches. Thank God I can finally get to sleep at night again. Feels weird. The first night I haven't guarded H in years. <sighs> So yeah, I then heard they all hate him so much that they spit in his food. Oh dude, that's gross. Hey Josh, you've got to come with us. Brad has the coolest idea. Well Sarge was dumb enough to say the security code for the keypad out loud, so I figured, why not go exploring? Yeah, we're going to see what cool stuff we can find. Then we can go raid the cafeteria. I don't think so. What's the matter, Wilson? You chicken. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get in trouble with the Sarge. What a wuss. No, it's not that. I can't leave the subject alone. What if it... What if it, what, escapes? Murders everyone? Burns down the entire facility? Dude, come on. You heard the sergeant and that weird-ass professor? It won't do anything. Look. I'll prove it. Oi, Freakazoid, come over here and kill me! No, don't! <laughs> hey, are you deaf? Come and get us! Aw, what are you gonna do? You're stuck behind a glass wall! <laughs> See? It can't do anything. Now come on! Let's go! <gasps> um, gu guys, wait for me! I bet we could find some top secret stuff here. Guys, I don't think we should be here. Come on, don't be a wimp, Josh. Yeah. We're just gonna have a little look around. Just a load of boring files. Any luck, Brad? Nah, nothing interesting here. Here we go now. <sighs> Fine, but stop ruining the fun. Yeah, we're not hurting anyone. Come on, let's go to the sergeant's office next. Yeah, great idea. Whoa, this office is so cool. <laughs> we're bound to find something interesting here. Hey guys, I found a file here called Sector 12. Oh, damn it, it's password protected. Oh. My. God. Dude. The sergeant's real name is Eugene. What? No way. 
<laughs> Guys, can we please go before we get spotted? Look, dude, stop ruining our fun. Go make us coffee, we'll leave in a bit. Alright? Hey, Brad, come and help me figure out this password on the computer. Ha! I'm in! Nice, dude. What was the password? One, two, three, four. Uh, oh. L let's see what's in it! Guys? Everything alright? Uh, Josh, you might want to come and take a look at this. Was... was that? Yeah, yeah, it was. I, I, I knew it. I knew there was something going on. Okay, let's just calm down. That Herobrine thing, it's secured in its cell, right? So, Josh, all you gotta do is just go back and watch him, you know, just to be safe. Yeah. Y yeah, he can't hurt anyone now. We gotta go. Now. What just happened? Um, probably just a power outage. It'll turn back on soon. But the power cell, does that mean? What was that? I... Uh... We gotta find Sergeant Ryan. What in the world is going on? Power's out, sir. We were woken up by the explosion. Where is Sergeant Ryan? We tried contacting him, but no response. God damn it. 
Quick! Let's get to the subject cell. You two, check the power room. The rest of you with me. It's escaped. The subject has escaped. Sir, we're at the power room. It's been completely destroyed. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone let off a bomb in here. Roger that. You two with me. The subject can't have gone far. You shall find Sergeant Ryan and get somewhere safe until we have detained the subject. After 20 years. Why now? Not why, but how. He's not here. Will you get to the cell and make sure Herbrine's still there? No. Run! It seems pretty quiet here. Yeah, maybe Herobrine is still there. Isn't... isn't that... It's... Sergeant Ryan. Did Herobrine do that? It's... Gone. We're dead. We're all dead. Chris, just calm down. We're going to be okay. Okay? How are we going to be okay? Look, all we have to do is find that professor guy. You mean Professor Cook? Think about it. That dude has been watching that thing for years. I bet he has something that can be used to take it down. Yeah, okay. <sighs> You're right. And besides... There are guards armed with guns around this place. Old Herobrine doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. Yeah, so should we go and find the professor now? Yeah, let's go. Do you really think guns are going to stop something that's capable of doing that? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just trying to stop Chris from freaking out. Guys, come on! No! No, please! I'll, I'll do anything! Just don't kill me! Please! Please! That didn't sound good. What the hell do we do? We gotta find Professor Cook. <laughs> Dr. Jenkins, it's only us. Calm down. Oh, thank goodness. Ma'am, where is Professor Cook? The... The subject. It... Got him. What about Sergeant Ryan? I... I haven't found him yet. Don't worry. We'll take care of the subject. Find the others and get to safety until we resolve this. Okay, but... What on earth was that? It's... coming.
Ma'am, I strongly suggest that you leave us right now. Everyone in formation. Guns at the ready. Shoot to kill. Open fire! Those were gunshots. I bet they killed it. Or maybe it killed them. Guns won't stop it. Someone's coming! What if it's Herobrine? Quick, this way! Hello? Anyone there? That's... that's Dr. Jenkins! Psst! Hey Doc, over here! Clo close the door! What's happened? It's... Sergeant Ryan. Have you seen Sergeant Ryan? We, uh... He's dead! No. Not him, too. Two? What do you mean, two? Where's Professor Cook? He's... He's dead. Everyone is... Dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Chris, nap out of it! Dr. Jenkins. You monitored Sobjik alongside Professor Cook for a long time. Was anything designed to take it down? No. We could never get close enough to hear O'Brien. The situation was far too dangerous. All we could do was monitor it safely from a distance. And through all this time, he, it, didn't do anything? No, never. It's barely even moved most days. Well, great. We're done for. We're screwed. We're dead. Boom. Game over. Thanks for playing. Dude, look. Dude, nothing! We're trapped here with some crazy murdering thing, and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us! There's gotta be something. Maybe a protocol that was put in place in case of an emergency. Sergeant Ryan was never one to believe such things would happen. He started seeing Hero Brian as a friend. We only had high security measures with the previous sergeant. Our only option is to look through the sergeant's office again. Yeah, we should take a closer look. Let's go. Wait a minute. What do you mean again? Um, nothing. Yeah, bye! Dr. Jenkins, you should stay here. We'll be back soon. Wait, I don't think... Good luck. Ugh, this is useless. There's nothing here. Josh, you good man? Who was that guy? The one we saw in the security footage? Could have been Sergeant Ryan. No, it definitely didn't look like him. Whoever he is, he might know something. Something we don't. Well, he's probably dead too. Chris! What? We saw the guy walk up to him, alone, and you're telling me you don't think it would have killed him? Guys, quiet. I is there another one? We could use them. No, there's only this one. Use it. 
What? Well, someone has got to have the other one. Call for help. Uh, um, hello? Does anyone copy? Please respond. Try again. Does anyone copy? Please respond. The subject has escaped. It's useless. No one is there. I guess you're right. At least we tried. Let's go back to Dr. Jenkins. Talk! Say something! Hello? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Oh, thank God! Who is this? First, you need to tell me who you are, and if there is anyone else with you. Uh, uh, okay. This is Soldier Wilson. I'm here with Soldier Smith and Soldier Jones. Very good. So... Who is this? This... is Sergeant Dawson. So, Sergeant Dawson, did you work at the facility? Work there? My entire life was dedicated to keeping the subject isolated from the world. I ran that goddamn place. He might be the one from the security footage. Give me that! Sergeant Dawson, the subject has escaped. He's killed everyone apart from us three and Dr. Jenkins. Is there anything we could do to stop it? What? How has this happened? Where is Sergeant Ryan? Hirobine killed him. God damn it. What's the current situation? Us three are hiding out in the office, Dr. Jenkins is hiding in the rec room, the power is gone, Hirobine is loose in the facility, and we have no idea where it is, and guns don't kill or even harm it. There's only one thing you can do. In the far corner of the facility, there is a door leading down to another room where the backup power generator is located. There are two switches which must be turned simultaneously in order for power to be restored. Get to that room as soon as possible and let me know when you're there. I'll tell you the correct way to turn them. One more thing. It is vital that you remain as quiet as possible and do not attract attention to yourself. Good luck, soldiers. Okay, coast is clear. I think we're gonna be sick. We... We better tell Sergeant Dawson. Uh, n not in the open. Uh, let's, let's get to our room first. Sergeant Dawson, this is Soldier Smith. The subject has killed Dr. Jenkins. It's just us now. You need to hurry. Are you on your way to restore the power? Just finding where it is on the map. Then we'll be on our way, sir. Very well. Over and out. What are we going to do when the power comes back on? Get, get Herobrine in his cell? Oh yeah, it's gonna be so easy. We're just gonna walk up to here, run. You know, the guy that just killed everyone. And we're just gonna ask it ever so nicely if it will kindly go back to its cell, where we can imprison it for eternity. Oh, and if it can not kill us in the process, that'd be great. Don't be stupid, Chris. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is our only option. If we don't listen to the sergeant, we're as good as dead. We have no choice. Something tells me this isn't gonna end well. As long as we stick together, we'll be okay.
from the looks of it, the backup power generator is through this door. I'm out. Fine. You stay here and keep watch. Let's go, Josh. G guys, wait for me! There it is. Sergeant Dawson, we're at the backup generator. What do we do now? Okay. Now there should be a set of two switches on each side of the control panel. Yeah, we see them. Both switches should be facing straight down. The two of you need to turn the switches clockwise at the same time until they reach the bottom right corner. After that, the power will be fully restored to the whole facility. We did it! Sir, the power's back on. What do we do now? S Sergeant Dawson? This is crucial. The subject is a very dangerous being. In no way can it be allowed to escape the facility. If it does, then a lot more people will suffer and die by its hands. You must get to the security room. Find the emergency lockdown sequence and activate it. Once you've done so, there will be a five minute timer. When it reaches zero, the entire facility will shut down permanently. No way in and no way out. So we'll be trapped? No. Five minutes. We have five minutes to get to the exit. If we're quick, we can make it. Do you really think we can do that? Listen, you all are soldiers. It is our duty to risk our lives to save others. But I don't want to die here. Snap out of it, soldier. This is what you are trained for. Uh, uh, trained? Uh, th this was only our first day. Looks like it's going to be our last two. <sighs> don't worry, Sergeant Dawson. We know what has to be done. You can count on us. Over and out. Run! I think we lost it. Yeah, thank god. Are you okay, Chris? Wh where's Chris? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I gotta go find him. Wait, you can't. Everybody's still out there, he'll kill you. And if I don't find Chris, it will kill him. I can't let that happen. Brad, please. Too many people have died already. If it finds you, you won't be able to defend yourself. This might not be able to kill it, but at least it will slow it down. Hopefully.
stay here. If I'm not back in five minutes, then just go and do what the sergeant said, okay? But Brad... No. See you soon. Damn it, damn it, damn it! No! Chris. Come on, Brad. Where are you guys? Sergeant Dawson? Thought we lost you. What happened? No time to explain. I'm at the security office. What do I do? There should be a computer in the corner. Access the emergency lockdown protocol. It says to enter our code. What is it? Now that I don't know. The code changed when I retired and Sergeant Ryan took my place for security purposes. Look around. It may be on the system or written somewhere. Brad? I thought you were dead. I could say the same thing. I saw Herobrine come out of the room. How the hell did you escape? I hit up in the vent and crawled through it to get here. Heh, <laughs> smart move. Now let's get this lockdown started. Wait, where's Chris? He's dead. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's my fault. I should have been looking out for him. Brad. No. Let's just get this over with. I tried with the lockdown sequence, but it says to enter code. I can't find it anywhere. Trust me, I got this. Luckily, the security guy told me this as a precaution. As soon as I press this button, we got five minutes to get the hell out of here. You ready for this? 
Sergeant Dawson, there are only two of us left now. A lot of people have lost their lives to here, Brian, but we will make sure that it ends today. We are about to activate the lockdown. If, when you get out, let me know. I shall dispatch an emergency rescue to your location. Good luck, soldiers. Over and out. <sighs> Ready. Let's go! Go, go, go! What's wrong with it? Looks like the damn thing's malfunctioning. Hang on. Flip the switch next to you. You fix it. Let's go. Josh, the door's mechanisms are busted. The only way it will shut is if I do it manually from this side. What that means? No, there has to be another way. Look, either one of us gets out or none of us. So just go. But Brad, go! It's gonna be okay! <laughs> Screw you, you wide-eyed freak! Come on, come on, come on! No. How? Come on! Open!
always knew this day would come.